Hey guys, it's Jade and welcome back to another video on my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a huge makeup and skincare haul. This is definitely a collective haul. I bought these things from Sephora, Ulta, Nordstrom Rack, Target, like it's all over the place. Definitely a huge wide spectrum of things here. I definitely did not buy all of this in one sitting, but I thought I would share with you guys all of the new makeup and skincare and beauty products that I have been using and loving and have purchased recently. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below as well as give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Leave in the comment section down below any video requests you guys have for me or any of these products that you like. That's going to be it for this intro, so let's hop right on in to the video. So I think I'm going to start with the things that I got at Nordstrom Rack first because I got some good deals, guys, and I Really am excited to share those with you guys. So the store had just reopened um, where I live, and so they were doing 30% off the entire store. So I got an additional 30% off all of these products, and I was so excited. The first thing I got was actually a set that came with a mega size, not only a full size, but a mega size of the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment Mask. This is so good, and guys, I have never owned anything from Glam Glow before because their masks, as you guys know, are so freaking expensive um, but when I saw this set I was literally blown away because I think I paid less than $20 and I got a mega size of the gravity mud mask which is one of their best sellers and so nice and I got a full size of the glam glow glow starter mega illuminating moisturizer the next thing that I got from Nordstrom Rack was actually also a set it was a set of three of these little smashbox cover shot palettes so this was a collection that came out I have no idea when um, but I think a little while ago and these are really cool they have kind of a galaxy looking design on them. It's one of those things where like when you tilt it, it moves. It's really cool. Um, and so I got three of these palettes. Two of them are cover shot eyeshadow palettes and the other one is a really awesome face palette. So this is what the face palette looks like on the inside. Hopefully that is focusing. Um, but it has a blush, bronzer, and highlight in it. I have tried this out and I love all three products. And look how tiny this is. Like this is just going to be perfect for travel. That is honestly why I got this set because I can literally travel with this and one of these and have all my eye, all of the powder products I need. Like, isn't that so amazing? As for the two eyeshadow palettes, first one we have is the Covershot Minimalist Eye Palette, and the other one is the Covershot Nova Eye Palette. So the Minimalist Eye Palette, which is in this little purple cover, um, is the perfect just neutral palette. And then the Nova Palette is more of a mauve purple toned palette. This is definitely going to be fun for a good purple look. The next thing that I got from Nordstrom Rack is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines Foundation. Now I got this in the shade Light, which I thought would be a little bit too light for me, but it actually works really, really perfectly for my skin tone, especially because I'm a little pale right now since I've been inside for like three months. Once I go out in the summer and get tan, this will definitely be a little bit too light for me, um, but I can definitely use this as more of my like fall, like fall time, winter time, kind of more year round shade. I'm actually wearing it today and I really, really like how it looks. Um, and it is correct when it says bye bye lines, this actually helps a ton. I think it's supposed to be for anti-wrinkle, which we always like a good anti-wrinkle product. But I actually use this because I have a problem with products creasing around my mouth and underneath my eyes. And obviously, that's kind of unavoidable at some point, um, but I definitely see a difference with this. Now, I actually went to Ulta yesterday. They were open. Of course, I was wearing my mask and being protected. Um, but I got two palettes that I'm going to share with you guys. First is an eyeshadow palette. This is my very first ColourPop palette. I've never had one before. This is the Nude Mood palette, and the packaging is just so beautiful. And this is what the shades look like. I've actually used this palette a couple times now, and you can create so many eye looks with this. And I knew, I had heard people talk about how good ColourPop shadows were, but guys, holy crap, these shadows are so good. Now, the next palette that I got ever since Benefit launched this, I wanted it so so bad and it really was you know like you guys know I don't spend a ton of money on makeup it's I love makeup and I love high-end skincare but I just it's really hard for me to spend that much money on it sometimes um, this was $60 but I definitely think it was worth every penny this is the brand new benefit cheek stars reunion tour palette um, this comes with three blushes one highlight and one bronzer literally I couldn't have asked for a more perfect palette I think that benefits powder products are so incredible, like absolutely such great quality. I love their box blushes. Um, and so to have them in a palette is super, super nice. These are all full size of each of the products just in a palette. So we come, first starts with the Hula bronzer right here. Obviously that is my everyday bronzer. I wear that every day. That's the only bronzer 
that I use. I have other ones in my collection, but I honestly just don't use them. Um, I love the Hula Bronzer. And then this is the brand new Cookie Highlight, or I guess it's not brand brand new, but it's new to me. I've never tried it before, and it is stunning. It literally blew out of the park any other highlighter that I already have. And then for the blushes, we have Georgia, Dallas, and Sugar Bomb. These are all three blushes that I do not already own from Benefit. You guys know that I have the Benefit Dandelion blush that I loved for a long time. Um, but I've definitely started to move more towards that peachy, toned, neutrally blush. And so these three are so awesome. Another thing from Nordstrom Rack that I forgot to show you guys is the actually the Too Faced White Peach Palette. So I was super excited to see this palette on sale. I do not own a Too Faced palette. Um, so I was super excited to try this one out. First of all, Too Faced packaging is literally just so cute. It's kind of what the shades look like. Obviously it has a wonderful smell and I really love this palette because I am super into peachy toned shadows. I'm actually wearing this palette on my eyes today. Now the next thing I have to show you guys is not that interesting. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Obviously a classic in the beauty community. It was literally probably the first eyeshadow primer that really got super big. So now I'm going to show you guys a couple things that I have picked up from the drugstore, whether or not that be Target or Walmart or literally Kroger. Um, the first thing is the Milani Pure Passion Eyeshadow Palette. I honestly have not gotten a ton of use out of this just because I kind of went through a, I still am kind of in like a makeup buying phase. And so I've just bought a lot of palettes or gotten a lot of palettes in PR recently. And so I haven't gotten to give this one a whole lot of love yet, but I have swatched it all and tested it a couple times. I'm sorry, I'm, not, I'm trying not to blind you with the mirror, um, but it is this really pretty pinky warm tone neutral palette. Next thing, also from Milani, um, I've had this for a while, you guys know, I've probably mentioned it in a couple makeup videos because this is literally one of my favorite blushes. Ever since I got the Benefit palette the other day, I haven't been using this as much, but I was using this every single day for a super long time, and I still absolutely love it. I think the formula is amazing, and for a drugstore product, so good. Um, this is the Milani Blake Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. This is kind of boring, but I did pick up a backup of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light Medium. The next thing that I picked up and have been very intrigued by. This is by Winky Lux. This is the PH Lip Balm. So it looks like this. It's got three little different colored stripes on it. Blue, yellow, and red. And it's one of those lip balms that like apparently creates your perfect shade of lipstick um, by the pH level on your lip. I don't really know if that works, but I really wanted to try it out because I'd heard a lot about these little Winky Lux lip balms and the packaging is really cute. Next thing I picked up, and I honestly can't even remember where I got this, it was either TJ Maxx or Nordstrom Rack because, you know, your girl loves some good sale makeup. Um, but this is the Bare Minerals Primetime Original Foundation Primer. You guys know I've talked about this multiple times on my channel. I've had multiple bottles of this, um, but this is just a good, really good overall foundation primer. I think it's good at skin smoothing and making your makeup last. It's definitely not too heavy. Do I think there are better primers out there? Yeah, but I got this one on a good sale. I think it's a good price and it never makes me break out. So overall, it's a good, really classic product. This has been out for forever. We're gonna get to the skincare in a minute, guys. Don't worry, I just thought I would go through all the makeup first. Um, the next product that I got is from e.l.f. and this is one of their liquid eyeshadows in the shade. Flirty Birdie, it is just this beautiful champagne rose gold color that is just super glittery. I honestly have been really impressed with this. I think that the payoff and opacity and glitteriness of it is really, really nice. I think that this, I actually use this kind of for like my prom makeup look, and I think that it just really added a nice layer of glitter over my eye look already. Speaking of being impressed by e.l.f., this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the Satin Finish. I got it in the shade light peach and this you guys is so nice i'm not gonna say in its exact dupe for sharp tart shave tape because it's not quite as full coverage as tart shave tape is and it's a little bit more liquidy than tart shave tape is but it is literally such a good full coverage concealer that is still hydrating and doesn't crease honestly tart shave tape i got rid of it because it was just too thick for me especially under the eyes and this does not give me that feeling and it's from e.l.f. and it's like three or four bucks. So now getting into some more skincare products. Um, the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is actually two cleansers that I bought recently. So the one that I'm currently using and you guys know from my breakout clearing skincare routine that I just shared with you guys, this is the Neutrogena Oil Free Acne Wash Pink Grapefruit Facial Cleanser. So this is such a good facial cleanser. I feel like it's gentle and doesn't dry out my skin, but really gets rid of breakouts. And that is all that this product claims to do is clear your breakouts and I absolutely love that. Um, it just 
feels nice. It's a salicylic acid acne treatment. You guys know this has become a new holy grail product for me. And the next product I picked up is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser. Um, I have not opened this yet. This is still new. I have used this before though. This is a cool classic. This is a good facial cleanser. I like to keep a facial cleanser in my shower for when I shower just to have one to wash my face in there. And my, I have a Biore charcoal cleanser in there that I also have liked for a really long time. And um, that's about to run out so I thought I would replace it with this guy. And I also bought this when I bought this just in case I hated this. I would have this to use because I was like completely out of facial cleanser. The next product is actually also an e.l.f. product. This is something you've probably seen on TikTok. But this is the e.l.f. lip scrub. I absolutely have been loving this. I feel like it does a good job of exfoliating my lips. Um, obviously wipe it off and you definitely need to add chapstick to it afterwards. But my favorite part about this, again, I don't like being super messy with my skincare. It just, ugh, I don't like sticky things on my hands. Um, so this just makes it super easy to exfoliate your lips because it's already in like a bullet lipstick form. The next thing is actually something that I picked up at Kroger, but you can get them at Ulta and anywhere else. Um, this is actually something that I've been seeing a lot on YouTube and people's hauls. Anyways, this is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in the shade Moroccan, not shade, scent, Moroccan Rose. This is literally smells so good and I absolutely love this. This is such a good exfoliating sugar scrub. It is harsh, you know, like it really gets in there and scrubs. It doesn't irritate your skin, like not that harsh, but it just is such, such a nice product. They have so many different scents and all of them smell so good. And this also is super affordable. Obviously you can get it at Kroger, if you want to get it at Kroger, um, and it has so much product in there, like this is going to last you a lifetime. So I actually realized I have two more makeup products to share with you guys, and they just were in the bottom of the box, so I didn't see them. Um, these are the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. Um, obviously, you guys have probably heard about these. Um, everybody raves about Wet n Wild highlighters, and I was like, you know what? I want to try them. I picked these up at Target a little while ago, and guys, they are so good. The formula is awesome, and they are powerful highlighter. The next kind of body care product I have for you guys is the Pacifica Lavender Moon Body Scrub. Um, this one is supposed to be have like relaxing plant powered aromatherapy. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free which we love. Um, and this is just supposed to be like a body scrub that you can use in the bath or the shower. It's kind of lavender scented. It'll help you kind of relax for bed. Um, my friend actually gave this to me for my birthday. Um, so I did not purchase this, but I think this is going to be a really fun product for when I'm doing a self-care night. And the last product is really not that interesting, but this is the Jergens Natural Glow um, Daily Moisturizer. It's kind of like a gradual tanner. And I actually really love this stuff. It does smell a little bit self-tanny, um, but I I'm honestly can get past that. I don't really care about that because this is so much cheaper than any other self tanning product I've ever found. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you guys are new. Please leave in the comment section down below any video requests that you guys have for me. If you want to see any more makeup, beauty related videos, please let me know because I really love watching those videos and I love making those videos for you guys but I just don't know if anyone actually wants to see like beauty content from me. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at jade underscore binward. That's where I interact with you guys the most as well as if you ever like my clothing, I do sell my old clothes on a Poshmark account. Links in the description box down below of course. Um, and that is going to be it for today's video so I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Missing someone